Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech. My name is Angelo and today I'm going to be talking about this constant controversy that is the 30 FPS versus 60 FPS. But, the, but what I'm going to be talking is not that if people can see or not 30 against 60 or so on because obviously most people will recognize the difference between 60 and 30 FPS. And I think also there is no debate that if you can play uh, the game at the same quality resolution and visual fidelity at 60, you will prefer always 60 over 30. I don't think this is a, even a debate. No, nobody, I think, is going to choose 30 FPS over 60. Okay, but however, this is not normally what happens. When you are deciding if you want to play at 30 or at 60 FPS, normally it's because there is a reason, a graphical reason especially, because, and this is mostly when we talk about the consoles. And it's that recently there was this whole debate that came with the Dragon's Dogma 2 release where it's going to be running at 30 FPS on consoles, okay? And then, well, people are angry, people are, you know, why is this, what this generation is a lie, and so on and so on. This happened also with Starfield, Gotham Knights, and I am playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at 30 FPS because I prefer it uh, over the 60 FPS mode because it actually looks better. I have played games on PC at 30 FPS even with my RTX 1490 due to different reasons. But the whole point is that we need to understand and many people need to understand that when you have a limited amount of power performance, the developer has to decide how to use that, uh, that performance. Do we want better graphics or do we want better performance? Uh, more FPS so because more FPS means in many cases either lower resolution or um, you know reconstruction techniques lower graphics no ray tracing and so on so of course the developer has to decide and think on what is best for the game he's making but many people don't think on this way and they are just angry so today I wanted to do something different I have talked about this many many times in my Spanish channel and I don't remember I have done it here in my English channel um, because I was checking the old videos and I cannot see anything related to it. However, what I have done in this case is I have played a bunch of different games and I tried to record them, uh, you know, with the most similar gameplay uh, possible, but doing uh, a specific thing. So this is an RTX 20 Super Machine, so it's limited in terms of GPU performance and it's sort of around the same performance of consoles. And what I have done is that I have set the game to run at 60 FPS using the best graphical uh, possible. I mean, I started testing combinations of resolution, uh, DLSS and so on in order to make the best out of the game running at 60 FPS. For this, the GPU needs to be running at, at least 80% of capacity. So I know that I'm using most of the GPU and setting the graphics like the resolution, the LSS, quality, ray tracing, and so on at the best quality possible that is allowing me to run at 60 FPS, okay? Then I'm doing the exact same thing, but this time running at 30 FPS, which means that by running half the at frame rate, I can either put uh, use higher resolutions or higher settings, use more ray tracing or things like that. But the point is that in that case, I'm also looking for the best settings in order to achieve at, at least 80% utilization on the GPU while the game is running at 30 FPS. And the whole purpose of this is to compare the two gameplays side by side and be able to see one the movement because so many games have very nice motion blur and so on that tries to minimize the effect of the 30 fps against 60 but also the sacrifices that you have to do in order to take the game to 60 fps of course on pc you have the last word and it's your decision but when you have a closed system like the uh, consoles then this is not possible because sometimes you don't even have that option but then i thought okay if i was in the position of the developer i would like to show the people uh, the difference between 30 and 60 fps not only visually like you know running and the movement and how smooth 60 is but also how different in terms of graphical fidelity it is some games are going to have more capacities to go over and have better quality while others not so much and that's the whole point, to see all the sacrifices that you have to do in order to achieve 60 or 30 FPS. 
And before I start with the video, uh, or with the samples, I need to explain something. Uh, when I say uh, limited amount of performance, I'm talking about most, uh, mostly consoles, even though it's true that you also have a limited amount of performance on PC, because if you have a 2060 Super, well, there is not much you can do in terms of what you can do with the game, but you can go and buy a 4090. However, even by buying a 4090, you have a limited amount of performance because you are not going to be able to do whatever you want with that. You cannot play at 8K 120 FPS. However, because the games are made thinking uh, to run on like middle, um, middle tier uh, uh, GPUs and um, consoles, the thing is that the 4090 give you more decisions, for example, or faster GPUs give you more options to decide what to sacrifice or even without having to sacrifice anything and having that 60 FPS mode. I'm sure in Dragon's Dogma, me and many other uh, PC gamers are going to be able to play a 60 even at uh, worse quality than consoles or better quality than consoles because I have a 4090, but somebody will a 1070 maybe can lower the resolution to 1080p low and still get those 60 fps that they can give on console so computer on pc is about freedom of choice and you end up deciding exactly what to do but in my case what i'm trying to show is what the developer will do or how i will tackle it just to show you how big the difference can be in terms of clarity quality and performance between two different modes so let's see the samples and then I will come with a very short conclusion. So here I am and on the left side you're always going to see the 30 FPS version of the game and on the right side the 60 FPS and you have the settings on top so you can see the sacrifices and changes I had to do in order to achieve each one of them. Remember I always test it with the RTX 2060 Super because the idea is to find myself limited. And now you can see how on the 30 FPS side we have all RT activated which gives us a much more richer image with um, shadows and more um, vegetation and better light however on the uh, right side we have a more smooth motion but with a less rich image in some games this difference is going to be um, higher than on others i think here there is a quite a good difference which makes the decision of what to play for some may be a little bit more uh, difficult and this is the sort of decisions that the uh, developers have to decide when they are developing the game of course so um for example in the next game in this case the last of us part one you know um it's not so clear because the settings are essentially the same even though the 4k we are able to play a 4k 30 um but we have to use the lss performance while and on the 1440p side we have we use a higher level of DLSS in this case balance which is better but it's 1440p but we are keeping the exact same settings and we essentially get and 30 and 60 fps so here it's not so cut and dry because the for the type and kind of game maybe 30 fps is more than enough for you but you want that extra sharpness that extra clarity however for some people that extra sharpness or clarity may be not enough uh, you know to sacrifice the smoothness of movement that is quite clear when we're watching this uh, side by side video I'm I apologize if the videos are not perfectly synchronized it's very hard to achieve this uh, on games today because the frame rate even affects how the joystick are read and the gamepad are read so uh, the polling of the joystick change between 30 and 60 fps but as you can see here um, it, this is going to be, you know, depending on your decision, a 4K gives you a more detailed image, no better textures or anything like that because it's the same settings, but the 1440p image is softer depending on the sort of monitor or a TV that you have, but give much more smooth experience. So it will depend at the end of the day what would you prefer and the type of game. I think I probably would prefer the 30 FPS if I was in this case because I would prefer the clarity for my 4K TV, which is a 65 inch and i don't think 1440p will look as good but of course this is depending on taste now on a starfield you can see how stark the difference are in settings in order for me to go from 30 fps to 60 and you can see here how much of a different the 4k image is compared to 1080p not just in terms of resolution and clarity which is quite stark if you're watching this on the proper monitor or tv but also that many of the settings are uh, pared down you can see that the reflections the light the shadows um, are not at the same level of the 30 fps option 
So this, in this case, could be something that some people say, you know what, 4K, honestly, 30 FPS looks so much better that I would prefer that to the other soft and uh, more pared down image. And none of the options that you select are going to be wrong. Cyberpunk is quite a big case. Here you can see the difference between the game going at 30 and 60 because at 30 FPS and I can activate RT Ultra, not to confuse with Overdrive. I couldn't activate that and get 30 on the 2060 Super. But of course we have to use the LSS performance for that, while on the uh, 60 FPS I can still get ultra quality, not RT, but the LSS balance. And so at this point you can see that um, there is quite a big difference in quality in terms of reflections, lightning and shadows between the two images. So for some people, the, the, the difference is so striking that it's going to be a hard decision. Do I want the smoothness of 60 or do I want those extra effects that I get playing at 30 FPS? And you know, there is a quite a big difference in this game in smoothness when you see 30 and 60 going on. Because um, when we move around in the next uh, take, you're going to see that when we are moving on the uh, 30 FPS, you can see here that it's junky, you know, it's jarring, it's a little bit, you know, it's jump is 30 FPS, while the 60 FPS, well, obviously no, 120 feels much, much smoother. And so the, it, it makes things very difficult depending on how you tolerate these sort of movements, because for some people, playing at 30 will make them dizzy or create some issues while 60 will be more pleasant. However, the 30 FPS has a much more realistic, pleasant image and reflections, lights uh, propagating and so on that makes the decision from my point of view a little bit more difficult. Now, Avatar is another game where I had to really change a lot. I could play a 4K 30 uh, for uh, 30 FPS with the LSS performance, but I had to go all the way down to 1080p medium and still use the LSS balance in order to get the 60 FPS experience. And you can see here the, the difference in terms of clarity is quite huge. But also, if you see the vegetation, there is a lot less vegetation, which is quite important in a game like this. But, you know, maybe not so much for many, and then they will still prefer the 60 FPS compared to the 30 FPS. But I think there is quite a stark difference in terms of quality and clarity from the 30 FPS version of the game, which textures, lightning, and shadows and vegetation look so much better, especially the clarity. However, the point I'm trying to make here is not that one is better or um, wrong or the other one is the right choice. It doesn't matter exactly which one of the two you prefer. The point that I'm trying to make is that it, to achieve one or the other, you need to make sacrifices, you need to have change, you need to have a different approach, and at the end of the day, then you have to decide which one is the one that suits you. So it's not so cut and dry, like, oh, why this game cannot go to 60 by just lowering the resolution. Sometimes just lowering the resolution is not enough, which makes uh, you have to sacrifice a lot of graphical options. Well, as you have seen, there is obviously sacrifices to be made. In some cases, you have to really dig into that resolution. You have to lower it a lot, making the game a lot more blurry, uh, not looking as crisp. But sometimes you don't have to sacrifice that much. But sometimes you have to sacrifice things like uh, shadows and more rich enough of light. But at the end of the day, uh, you may prefer that um, to have 60 FPS because you don't think the the, the, the gain that you get graphically speaking going by 30 is good enough so you will play a 60 FPS so that's okay um, for example games like Cyberpunk the, to me the difference is quite huge there is a very big difference in terms of image quality but maybe for you that's it doesn't matter for me I always prefer graphics over performance so I have no problems for example I play Jedi Survivor completely locked at 30 fps and at 1490 because i wanted to activate every single detail and ray tracing on the game and because by doing that yes the game will get to 60 but it was very going for like 40 60 35 it was not stable but the moment i limited 30 fps the game was 100 percent smooth so I will prefer that in that particular case because there was no other way. But for example, Avatar, I'm not playing it at 60 FPS with a mix of settings. 
So it depends on your own like on what you prefer. But the point is, as you can see, that some games need to sacrifice a lot of visual quality in order to get those 60 FPS. And for some people that is, uh, is not gonna, they, they would prefer the 30 FPS because they like the more beautiful game. Other people would prefer the performance, which is okay. So to each their own. Unfortunately, on console, you don't have that many options. On PC, you do. But the whole point of this exercise was just to try to see all the different things that you have to sacrifice or a developer have to decide when he is coming to we make this game run a 60 or a 30 fps so i hope this video at least was interesting to you if you got to here i only want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel we're very close to 1000 and it will make me very happy to get there so i will uh, appreciate if you subscribe like and all those things that helps create or continue with the job work in this case it's not my job i don't make any money out of it so thank you very much and see you on the next video